Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the biggest betting favorites in UFC Mexico, Brandon Moreno versus Brandon Royval. And today we're talking about Yasmin Jaragui versus Sam Hughes. Yasmin is a minus 470 favorite. Should she be that high of a favorite? Her record is 10 and 1 on paper. Maybe she should. Um you look at it though, I don't really know if she should. I gotta be honest. She beat Lasman Lacerdo, who has had some some success in the UFC. Actually, both have lost to Denise Gomez. Um, Estela Nunez, uh, she also beat two wins. She's two and one in the US, UFC, uh, is uh, uh, Yasmin. I don't think she should be a minus 470. I mean, that's. That's crazy with somebody like Sam Hughes. I know Sam Hughes' record is 8-5, and five, but she is a grinder. She's 3-4 and four in the UFC, which, okay, sure. She has seven fights. To this, this is her eighth, and this is Yasmin's fourth. I do think that uh, that means something. The UFC experience is crazy. And then in her last fight, she was finished in the first round. I don't think necessarily that Sam Hughes will finish a Yasmin. But, but yeah, again, you know, it, it, it's it's weird because Yasmin getting destroyed the first 20 seconds against Denise Gomez kind of takes away a little bit what she did do against Lasmin Lacerdo. Lasmin Lacerdo, very, very fun prospect, and she had way more experience than Yasmin does. She's actually 15 and 5 now, but she's only 22 years old. 11 finishes out of 15 wins. And that and this uh win has aged very well. Beat Brogan Walker, which doesn't mean a whole lot, but uh finished Pollyanna Viana, who's looked really really good as late. Actually just defeated um oh what's her name? She defeated um Casey Casey O'Neill. That's who it is. She beat finished her uh, yeah, with an arm bar. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, arm triangle, arm triangle. Wait, I'm confused. Pollyanna Viana. Why did I think Lasmin Lacerdo? Where is it? Pollyanna Viana. She lost to Lasmin Lacerdo. And lost to Jillian, Jillian Robertson. Who was I thinking finished Casey O'Neill? Who was I who was I thinking? Casey O'Neill. King Casey. Who was that? Ariana Lipsky. That's who it was. So again, not the best of competition but seven and three for brogan walker 13 and five for pollyanna viana on paper not terrible but very very good prospect that was my original point anyways um again yasmin as a minus 470 is what we are talking about 24 years old against a grinder like uh, Sam Hughes, who can make it ugly, actually has to make it ugly. Otherwise, she doesn't win that fight. Um, and I actually, I like the upset in this one. But minus 470 as a favorite, I don't think justifies this fight. I don't think it should be that much. Sorry, ha I don't think so. And then next we have Edgar Charez as a minus 380. This is a rematch over in a fight where Charez was robbed of his submission win. And I don't think this fight goes much different. He's just the overall better fighter. Now, is Daniel Lacerdo maybe a little bit quicker with his hands? Probably. But 100% Edgar Charez is better everywhere else, especially in the grappling department. Uh, as a minus 380 favorite, this is absolutely justified. Now, again, he does have a loss. He has not won yet in the UFC. He has a loss against Tetsuru Tayero, which I think he took that fight on short notice. And he also... Almost had a guillotine late in that fight. So as a minus 380 favorite, this one is justified. You know, and then again, there's a, there's a there's another one. It is, I think I think. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Let's do Felipe Dos Santos as a minus 285 
favorite. You have a guy in Victor Altamirano has not been finished. He's only lost decisions in his UFC career. Um, and Felipe Dos Santos has one fight against Manel Cobb, where some people actually thought he won that fight. I did not. He still looked great for a 7-0 guy, 23 years old. Manel Cobb is a monster and a very, very, a guy that's very close to getting at least some type of title shot, a title eliminator, something like that. So again, this fucking hair keeps popping out. Again, Felipe Dos Santos as a minus 285 favorite is absolutely justified. Now, I think there is one more that was a little shocking to me. Well, uh, Ron Barcelos is a minus favorite, a high minus favorite. I think it's a little crazy. Honestly, I think it is right. And then, yeah, uh, Daniel Zahuber at minus 260. That seems nuts to me. I mean, we haven't really seen a great uh, striking. Yeah, he hurt Venata. Venata's been weird since his debut in the UFC and against the spinning wheel kick against uh, uh, John McDessie. But 2-1 and one in the UFC, this is his fourth fight. Has His one finish against Christos Yagos, where I believe he also did get hurt early in that matchup. Submitted Christos Yagos, but... Submission threat, sure. I don't think he's going to submit Francisco Praga. As a minus 260 favorite, I don't think this is justified. We just haven't seen enough. I guess what they're going on is the length of Daniel Zahuber. But Francisco Prada, Prado, uh, Zahuber is only a couple inches taller. He has one inch reach. The power is on Prado. We've seen Daniel Zahuber hurt before. And I think Prado can actually finish Daniel Zahuber. I don't think that is justified at all. So, and then I don't think there's any. And then last but not least, Yair Rodriguez as a minus 165 favorite. I think this actually should be higher. I've got to be honest. I do think if Brian Ortega, the more well-rounded Ortega uh, comes to fight, it's a little bit closer of a fight. But in his last four fights, he's won one of them. And that was against Korean Zombie where Ortega didn't look great either. Or, yeah, he beat Korean Zombie, but he didn't look that good. That performance was way over overhyped it wasn't great um and we seen before the shoulder injury or arm injury whatever that ortega suffered he was getting pieced up he was getting beat up in that fight with the kicks with the punches he really was so a minus 165 just doesn't make sense to me it should be in the 200 it should be in the 250 if you have some of these other ones at a, at a higher odds why in the world if you have daniel zahuber at a minus 260 why in the world is Yair Rodriguez not higher of a favorite in this matchup? And again, as always, subscribe, like, comment, comment. Let me know if you guys agree with these odds, and we will talk about some more, more later on. As always, subscribe, like, comment. Peace.